Welcome, students, to today's lecture on eosinophilic lung diseases. We will explore their pathogenesis, clinical manifestations, imaging, treatment, and associated factors. Let's dive into the fascinating world of these conditions and advance our understanding and management. Eosinophilic pneumonia is a condition where eosinophils infiltrate the lung, causing symptoms like cough and difficulty breathing. Chemokines called eotaxins and receptors like CCR3 and CCR4 attract eosinophils to the lungs. This understanding can guide future treatments. Idiopathic eosinophilic lung diseases encompass a heterogeneous group of disorders characterized by pulmonary eosinophilia of unknown etiology. These conditions present with a wide range of clinical manifestations, including cough, breathlessness, wheezing, fever, and weight loss. The pathogenesis of idiopathic eosinophilic lung diseases remains unclear, but it is believed to involve dysregulated immune responses, genetic predisposition, and environmental triggers. Treatment options for these conditions vary depending on the severity of symptoms and the extent of organ involvement. Management strategies often involve the use of corticosteroids, immunosuppressive agents, and supportive therapies to alleviate symptoms and prevent long-term complications. Radiographic imaging plays a crucial role in the evaluation and differential diagnosis of eosinophilic lung diseases. Chest X-rays and computed tomography CT, scans are commonly employed to assess the extent and distribution of pulmonary abnormalities. Radiographic patterns seen in eosinophilic lung diseases include peripheral consolidations, ground glass opacities, nodules, and interstitial infiltrates. However, these patterns can also be encountered in various other pulmonary conditions, necessitating a thorough evaluation and consideration of differential diagnoses. Understanding the radiographic patterns of eosinophilic lung diseases and their differential diagnoses assists clinicians in formulating accurate diagnostic and management plans. Eosinophilic lung diseases can occur as part of connective tissue disorders and vasculitides. Recognizing this association is important for diagnosis and treatment. Mechanisms include immune dysregulation and collaboration between specialists is often needed for optimal management. Advancements in imaging techniques like PET scans and MRI have improved our ability to diagnose and manage eosinophilic lung diseases. These techniques help us understand the metabolic activity, tissue changes, and extent of the disease, aiding in personalized treatment decisions. In tropical settings, parasitic infections like ascariasis, strongyloidiasis, and filariasis can cause pulmonary eosinophilia. These infections trigger an immune response with elevated eosinophils, resulting in respiratory symptoms. Knowledge of the epidemiology, clinical manifestations, and management of these diseases is crucial for healthcare providers in tropical areas. Hypereosinophilic syndrome, HES, is a rare disorder characterized by high levels of eosinophils in the blood and damage to multiple organs. The cause is unknown, but it involves abnormal production and activation of eosinophils. Treatment options include medications to reduce eosinophil levels and prevent organ damage. Early diagnosis and treatment are important for better outcomes. Eosinophilic lung diseases in pregnancy pose unique challenges due to the need to balance maternal well-being and fetal safety. Pregnancy can potentially exacerbate pre-existing eosinophilic lung diseases or unmask previously undiagnosed conditions. Managing these cases requires a multidisciplinary approach involving obstetricians, pulmonologists, and neonatologists. Close monitoring of maternal respiratory status, optimizing asthma control, and assessing the risks and benefits of various treatment options are paramount. Balancing the effects of disease activity, medication safety, and fetal well-being is crucial in achieving favorable outcomes for both the mother and the fetus. Occupational exposures to various industrial agents have been implicated in the development of eosinophilic lung diseases. These agents include organic and inorganic particles, chemicals, metals, and fumes encountered in various workplace settings. Eosinophilic lung diseases associated with occupational exposure often present with respiratory symptoms and radiographic infiltrates, mimicking other forms of eosinophilic lung diseases or occupational lung disorders. Occupational risk assessments, timely diagnosis, and appropriate workplace interventions are crucial in preventing further exposure and managing affected individuals. Occupational health specialists play a vital role in identifying and mitigating occupational factors contributing to eosinophilic lung diseases. Eosinophilic pneumonia is a condition where an increased number of eosinophils in the airways and lung tissue causes inflammation and damage. Hypereosinophilia, or high eosinophil count, is a key factor in tissue damage. Eosinophils release harmful substances that contribute to lung injury. Understanding these mechanisms can lead to better treatments. Histopathological evaluation of lung tissue is essential in confirming the diagnosis of eosinophilic lung diseases and identifying specific subtypes. 
Transbronchial lung biopsy, open lung biopsy, or video-assisted thoracoscopic surgery are commonly employed to obtain lung tissue specimens for examination. Microscopic features observed in eosinophilic infiltrates include eosinophilic accumulation in the airways, lung parenchyma, or vasculature, accompanied by varying degrees of inflammation, fibrosis, and tissue damage. Recognizing the histological patterns associated with specific eosinophilic disorders, such as eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangiitis, formerly Church-Strauss syndrome, or drug-induced eosinophilic pneumonia, is essential for making accurate diagnoses and initiating appropriate management plans. In the management of acute exacerbations in eosinophilic lung diseases, a personalized approach is necessary, using systemic corticosteroids as the primary treatment due to their anti-inflammatory and immunomodulatory properties. Balancing the benefits and risks is vital for patient well-being. In summary, eosinophilic lung diseases are a complex group of conditions with diverse presentations. Understanding the underlying mechanisms, diagnostic imaging, and disease associations is crucial for accurate diagnosis and management. Addressing challenges related to pregnancy, occupational exposures, and acute exacerbations improves patient care. Ongoing research will further enhance our knowledge and treatment strategies for these diseases.